So the joy about magic, there's lots of widows and poor children as well who have to suffer the magician in the family. We've got them here. Introduce us, Michael. So this is my wife, Helen. Hello. This is my daughter, Savannah. Hello. And this is my other daughter, Scarlett. Hello. So tell me then, having a magician at home, what does it feel like, Scarlett? It's just magic all the time. Magic all the time. And you want you want to get in the profession yourself. What do you want to do? Um, I'm training to be an actor. And where else are you training? I'm training at LMA, which is in Stratford. Very good. And, and uh, is he a good magician? Is he your favourite magician? He's the best. <laughs> fantastic. And in terms of, uh, I often see you, you go together. It's fantastic family on that sort of basis. Lots of people will be at home where they've got magicians at home, storing lots of magic tricks. How's he at home? It's absolute mayhem. Oh. Magic everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, in the garage, in the loft, every room, every drawer, every cupboard. But we love it. And that seems to be a, a, a typical picture. The magic tends to take over the home and stuff like that. Michael was, trying, was stretching a bit earlier about a secret that nobody knows. Tell me about one thing that nobody knows about him. Oh, what? I can't, then it wouldn't be a secret. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's your favourite memory of your father growing up? God. Um, when I came downstairs and my mum was in two halves in the living room and I cried. Oh, she was in box. <laughs> you cried? Yeah. I, I was a bit scared. <laughs> I thought I thought I'd only have half of my mum. A half mother. And how old were you at that age? Um, God. Maybe like five? Five, my goodness. And your favourite memory? Oh my God. I don't even know. All of them. All of them. All of the memories are good. Uh, the Fitch family, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you.